Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to calculate the distance between two points. Um, I'm going to give you an example here. So this is going to be our uh, distribution center. So we have a couple of robots right here. So they want you to calculate what's the distance between these two guys. Because they want to build something like like a little way between them so they ask you to do this so you have the data you have that the distance is on yards then you have the X and Y points and what you're going to do here is you're going to use the Euclidean distance in this case I have this formula you can pretty much Google it you'll find different ways to do it but I'm going to work with X and Y so in order to get this distance I'm going to get my X2 minus X1 that's going to give me this little distance which is going to be 1 alright let's go back to uh, let's go back to my visual studio and let's start by uh, creating variables so I'm going to create a double I'm going to call that distance X and my distance X is going to be 1 then I'm going back to my Excel sheet and I'm going to have my other distance my distance Y so my distance Y is going to be my y2 minus y1 so y2 is going to be 5 minus 3 that's going to be 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 so I'm going to call this other distance distance y and it's going to be 2 alright perfect so I have those distances now let's go over the formula real quick and let's check what's going on so I'll need to raise the distance X and the distance Y you gotta raise it to the power of 2 then you gotta add it up and then you gotta square it so let's try to go to Visual Studio again and do that so we're going to have a new variable let's just call this new variable double distance x y okay perfect let's just call it this way and I'm going to say equal and then what I'm going to do here is I'm breaking down the formula so I'm going to say this is going to be my distance X plus my distance Y and here I have a few options so if I go to the formula I could raise this here and the way I want to do it is yeah let's let's uh, let's try to square this right now sorry to raise it let's raise this to the power of 2 and then this one to the power of 2 and then we get the square root okay in order to do that we're going to get the math functions then you're going to say power then you're gonna have a couple of doubles as arguments so you're going to take this and then you're going to raise it to the power of 2 then you're going to do the same with y so then you're going to have math dot power then you got the double here and then you're gonna raise it to the power of 2 
Okay, so far so good. The only thing we're missing here is the square root. So let's just go over the file real quick. So we pretty much have this, uh, this part. But now we need the square root. So let's just go over the Visual Studio. And let's create another variable. Let's just call it total. So this is going to be my real total. So my real total is going to be, I'm going to go to the math functions, and then I'm going to go to the square root, and I'm going to square my variable distance between x and y. That's going to be my, uh, my result. Okay, so I feel like we're ready to go. Let's just print that. Let's just add a message here. This is the distance needed, for example. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to have my total here. And if I run this, I should be getting the distance between those two um, robots. Okay, let's just go and check real quick. I'm going to run the application. Okay, let's just give it one more second. And the distance between these two points is 2.23 yards. Okay, 2.23. So let's go over Excel. Let's say 2.23. And if I want to, let's just try to corroborate that info. So I'm just gonna do it right here. So I'm going to have my two minus one, one. To the power of 2 plus then I'm going to have 5 minus 2 right that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 and then I'm going to square that so square root of 5 is going to be 223 so let's just go over the application. So the distance is 223. And that's exactly the same distance that I have here. All right, perfect. So let me just um, give you a warning for this. So the Euclidean distance is going to work for, let's say, short distances or something probably in the same city, you know, but if you're trying to calculate the distance between New York, for example, and Paris, this is not going to work. The Euclidean distance is not going to work because you'll have to add the curve of the Earth, okay? That's going to be a different formula. So Euclidean distance it's not going to work for that. All right, so that's pretty much the way you calculate the distance between two points in a graph or pretty much between um, two distances uh, that are not so far away, like two different cities or two different countries, that's not going to work. In this scenario, we were just working inside a huge plant or a distribution center and they ask you to calculate the distance between these two little guys. And that's pretty much how you can do it. I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.